Hey. <laughs> da -da 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 -da! It's RP and the back. Let's go back and better than ever. Back like we never left. We're so back, baby. And today, it's a very special day. The balance came out last night. So today we're gonna go a dive deep down into the waters and see what this balance really means. We're not talking about a reaction or any of that. Everyone knows these cards came out. I'm going to go very deep into these cards of the ban list and what are the meta implications? What are the implications for the best deck pendulum? Keep it back, baby. After five years on the East Coast, it was time to go home. So, without further ado, I'm about to begin this video. I'm talking about Link Rainbow might seem like a shit. Who the fuck? Why, why is it banned? Why Baron and Savage is going to hurt so many decks that it's banned? Pendulum included. Minadium included. Big time. You can't avoid Baron being banned. It's fucking banned. It hurts a lot. 100%. But there's ways you can now offset that where the decks that need Baron or Savage to stop Nib, for example, there's ways around it. And I'm going to go into what Protos being unbanned means, and it's really bad, and it's going to hurt us a lot. And some of the unlimits at three, how it's going to make a big difference. Shout out Engage. I'm going to go very deep down into this, how Colossus is searchable by every single deck. Any deck can make Colossus now. So first and foremost, I want to thank everyone that has stuck with me for three months and no posting. This is our first video in three months. Secondly, you're going to notice a new studio. This is, I'm creating a brand new studio where we're going to be doing daily shorts and daily videos for you guys. Thank you for sticking with me this whole time, guys. I love you guys really from the bottom of my heart. Everything I've ever done from the beginning of Trip Gaming five years ago. I did nothing wrong, man. I did nothing wrong whatsoever. I got banned. I didn't even know I got banned. It's always been pure passion for my heart with how much I love this game and how much I love you guys. And I know I've been around here a few months break here and there, but this three months I spent to create my own business, actually, which I help businesses with social media due to, I don't want to say charisma, because that's corny as fuck to say but my history of social media so i spent the last three months creating that i don't want to apologize because i'm not sorry for it it's fucking incredible it was very very rewarding and i'm still doing it but that's the reason why i was gone for three months and before we continue this video i want to give one last shout out to every single person on the triftgaming.com website that has purchased a playmat or deck box and have it late as shit my apologies totally my fault so every single person that has ordered a playmat or deck box from triftgaming.com that hasn't received it to this day will also be receiving a free playmat a free og triftgaming gaming play mat as my apologies for being late and if anyone wants a refund on any of the, their playmats or deck boxes that have been late feel free to reach out to me happily do it on instagram i respond to instagram all the time it's triff content down below and you'll also be able to see my new business on triff content where i help realtors with their social media so it's pretty cool if you guys want to see my actual in real life job per se not just Yu-Gi-Oh. anyways that went the further i do with the very first video let's get straight into this. the very first video back in three fucking months we're gonna deep dive on this bound list everything beginning to end let's get started i don't need this laptop i don't need it I don't need, I'm an encyclopedia. I don't need this. Now, I'm not going to break this like I break chairs or tables, but I'm just going to put this away for one sec, and let's get the show on the road. If you guys love this style of content I'm about to show now, why don't you guys to subscribe and follow right now? There's going to be a lot more to come. A lot. Daily video starting now. Let's go. The banning of Baron de Floor and Savage Dragon will ruin combo decks forever. Unless you know me. <laughs> I'm going to explain now how important it is that they got banned, and this is by far the most important hit in the whole balance. I'll explain why right now. First and foremost, Every deck is going to get shitted on by Nibiru. The Rock is going to come rock bottom your ass worse than he did the John, John Cena at WrestleMania. It's going to be bad. You're going to hear these rock bottoms from across the hall. You watching are probably going to be on table 4,000 while I'm on table 1. And you'll hear me cry every time the Nib hits my board. But, 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 it depends on the deck you play. You must find a way to stop Nibiru. Now we have to get creative. All right, no Baron was the easy way. Oh, you're playing Pendulums? You make Harmonizing Oath Baron. Oh, you're playing Manadium? You make Baron of the Visas. Oh, you're playing a uh, Snake Eye deck? You make Baron quick. Okay, with Jet. Okay. That doesn't exist anymore. So you must now get creative to play around the rock. Depending on the deck you play, it's different. But you must find the creative way. In a quick video, I can't tell you, but I'll show in later videos how to do it. If you guys want to know more, just subscribe. I'll show you. After the rock, after getting hit with Nibiru, the, a lot of boards will be shit. This is why combo decks will get hurt a lot as well. Nib, but also boards. So your board will be might be a little susceptible, susceptible to, to board breakers, etc. That's why Colossus and Protoss are back. That's why they're back. Yes, this is how you play around. You ready? No Baron, no Savage. No problem. Find a way to play around Nib and then just fucking make Protoss or Colossus. That's it. You do that, you win. How do you do that, you say? That's what you do. You play a deck of rank fours. You go Banshee, Banshee, Effects, Search, Nemesis, Nemesis Effect, Search Nemesis Corridor, uh, the, the Thunder, Effect Summon, Effect Make Colossus. Or if you want, you search Protoss instead of the Corridor, Summon the Protoss, call Fire. 
later fire decks sayonara so the first part of this video i want to mention is how important it is that baron and savage got banned but the solution to that is your deck must find a way to play around nib depends on the deck so i can't give a solution to everyone but you need some way to play around nib figure that way out depending on your deck secondly boards will be shit every combo deck board will be shit but you play around it let your opponent lightning storm you or, or talents you who gives a shit put up a uh, like an ftk colossus and and protos are ftk style cards put up floodgates search floodgates and that's how you do it. You play a rank 4 fucking deck and you search it. Oh, you play Snake Eye and can't do it? Don't worry. There's still ways in Snake Eye to put up FTKs and, like, just insane boards. You don't really need Baron or Savage for that, but it's a little more susceptible to cards like Talents. Just play accordingly. This is why, from now on, go second cards, like, Engage, will be so good. I think every single person moving forward should play Snake Eye, uh, Snake Eye Sky Striker, as I've been doing before. Board Breakers are going to be so insane now with Baron and Savage gone. So that's the next thing I want to talk about. Board breakers with Baron and Savage ban. Board breakers are going to be next level. Think of every single end board. Think of it. Which deck could do anything to a hand of talents, thrust, and sky circuit mobilize engage? The other three cards could be fucking wind up, wind up rat, and wind up ma magician, and wind up shark, and you'll kill them. It doesn't matter. But if the other three cards you have are board breakers, they're going to be huge. That's why Konami unbanned engage because with Savage and Baron gone, board breakers will be crazy. And there's no better card in Yu-Gi-Oh right now than sky circuit mobilize engage. Play it in all your decks. That's the next card. I, I love that card. Next card I want to talk about is Protos and Colossus. And I'm going to discuss these cards at the exact same time. Protos and Colossus at one will save the game of Yu-Gi-Oh. Here's why. I hate Floodgates more than anyone. I hate them. But Konami just banned Baron and Savage. So every board will be dog shit. Very susceptible to board breakers. But that's why Floodgates like Protos are going to be vital. The reason why is simple. They're all searchable. Any single deck in Yu-Gi-Oh could summon out a Colossus if they wanted to. I'll explain how. If you're playing Manadium or Pendulum, the two best decks in the universe, by the way, <coughs> just saying. Or if you're playing any other deck that's just generally a combo deck, you go sn into Banshee. Banshee effect searches Nemesis level 2 of Nemesis Flag. Nemesis Flag effect could then search either Protos, because it's a level 4 that searches a fucking Pyro. By the way, Bonfire, if you're playing a Fire that could also search Nemesis Flag. Nemesis Flag, when you summon it, and everything banishes, summon itself could then search Nemesis Thunder. Nemesis Thunder could turn into Colossus, or the Corridor, whatever the shit it's called. Or you could just search Nemesis Protos for itself. So Nemesis Flag equals Colossus or Protos. Konami did that on purpose. So now there's no Savage or no Baron. But when you end on Protos, your opponent loses anyways portals colossus it's over it's done so it doesn't you don't even need the gates anymore when you have all these fun gates so every deck could do it this is how you save combo decks pendulum manadium that's what you do if you're playing pendulum or manadium and you want to put up crazy boards without baron or savage this is what you do on your end board you find a way to play around nib both of them have it you can play around nib easily just be smart i can't tell you why because why since relay is coming soon i can't tell you how to play nib because it's gonna be in my deck but but you play around Nib, and then your end board, all you do is you go rank 4, Banshee. Banshee effect searches a pyro. You search Nemesis Flag. Nemesis Flag at that point can make a choice for you. Nemesis Flag can search for you. Nemesis Corridor to make Colossus, the Thunder one, and then you just summon and make Colossus. Or you can search Nemesis Protos, and then Arc Nemesis Protos, summon, destroy your opponent. And then if you're playing the Fire deck, Bonfire, it's all, they're all pyros. Bonfire searches Flag to do the same thing. So whether you're playing Manadium, whether you're playing Pendulum, whether you're playing a Fire deck, you can all end on Colossus or Protos every single turn. You don't need Baron, you don't need Savage. Another card I want to talk about on this balance and its meta implications is Chicken Game. Keep in mind, Ancient Fairy Dragon is legal, Terraforming is legal. You can do some crazy shit as far as synergy is concerned. Yeah, you gotta be careful of certain cards like Droll, but it's gonna go a long way. The fact that Terraforming searches Chicken Game and now allows you to just generically have a fuel spell engine in every deck you play. Every Ancient Fairy Dragon is so easily doable. You can create it in almost any single combo deck by playing the right cards. And now it just gives you, and all you needed is really one Chicken Game. You don't even need three. Because you're going to be able to move forward and search, draw, search, draw. And just to have it on the field with Terraform, it allows you to now play a conjunction of field spells. Secret Village, Necro Valley, depending on what you want to put, what you're playing. Terraforming, if you play a field spell like Sky Iris and Pen, it allows you to search these and allows you to play rotation of field spells. So just to have one chicken game changes a lot. Another card I really want to talk about is Link Karibo. Link Karibo seems like it does jack shit. It does quite a lot. 
No more can fire. Fire Dance cannot do the wolf uh, heat soul play anymore. They could, it's just in a very shit way. But the fact that you can't summon Link Cooper from the graveyard, it offsets a lot of the pluses that a lot of these guys can do. And additionally, it plays around Impermanent. You cannot Impermanent Veiler anymore when you bring it from the graveyard. And it makes access to Dark Charmer a lot harder going second because you can't bring the Link Cooper from the graveyard. So even though it seems small, you can just replace it with Relinquish Anima, it, it will hurt the deck a little bit. The next card I want to talk about in this ban list. And I decided to save this for this moment. Magic Specter Kieran, baby! Ha <laughs> ha! Long time coming. Magic Specter Kieran will make Magic Specters a high tier 2 deck. Think of Rescue Ace, but Pendulum version. When that turbulent resolves, aka new new when that resolves it's fucking game over you're gonna end on an unbreakable board first or second or break any board going second all you need is the link to to resolve in the same way you need turbulence to resolve in rescue ass so kieran coming back changes so much for magic specters making it a respectable high tier two deck easily another card i want to talk about now is in the unlimited section this is malicious malicious at three makes tier limit an actual viable strategy and i'm not kidding because it's not one malicious coming out it's two and it makes any de heroes will get a boost a bit but mainly 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 tier limit's legit i'm not kidding any deck that mills is going to be legit you can play a basic tier limit combo mill deck with graveyard effects and it, it's going to be legit especially as level six wing beatrice you're going to be able to do some cool shit 100 do not overlook tier limit in this format do not because Malicious at 3 is no joke. It's the real deal. Rejoice, Pendulum players! Because Anti-Spell is limited! <laughs> Effectively gone forever. It's basically gone. There's no way someone's going to draw one of Anti-Spell against me. And Summon Limit's banned. So this is beautiful. I'm so happy Konami did this. Because having to go second and breaking a big-ass board while just a random <laughs> Summon Limit... <laughs> standby phase. Every time I heard standby phase as a Pendulum player, I have great hairs because of this. No more. That's now gone forever. Thank God. This was an amazing hit. Thank you, Konami. The last card I want to talk about in the unlimited section. Sky Sucker Mobilize Engage is the best card in Yu-Gi-Oh! right now. Not kidding. It needs to go on every single deck effective immediately. Every single Fire King deck, every single Fire deck I play is going to have Sky Sucker Mobilize Engage. Because I've been doing this for those that follow me along before I let these Yu-Gi-Oh players the last three months get off easy. I'm winning a YCS in the next few months. Mark my word, 2012 YCS champ. And it's going to be with Skystream and Mobile Engage in my deck. It is absolutely remarkable of a card. And it sucks Colossus is legal because it's going to hurt it. But it is so powerful going first or second. It searches Shark Cannon to take any fire card from your opponent. It takes Widow Anchor to take any card from your opponent. It essentially draws one every single time you use it in a proper deck it's needed for. And you could go Azalea, which is just generically two lighter darks. And then it's right after that, go into Hayate. Hayate enter battle phase and engage. Kigari get engaged back, activate engage. It is absolutely absurd how powerful engage is because it's officially searchable. Engage is searchable. It's the best card in Yu-Gi-Oh! right now. The fact that it's at three makes, makes me hard as we speak. And that is my balance video with what I think is the biggest meta implications. Of course, there's other cards I didn't mention, like Tidal being at one. But quite frankly, I don't give a fuck about Tidal or any Mermail deck. They're all going to be ass anyways. But it's still good at least to see Dragon Rulers come back. Terra Top at three might be nice as well in the future. And Armageddon at two, who gives a fuck? And the purely shit anyways, who cares? But the rest of the cards I think is going to be absolutely huge that I mentioned. And there's about 10 cards on this uh, whole balance uh, explanation that I said that's going to have serious meta implications moving forward. Serious meta implications. And as far as Pendulum is concerned, it's going to take a major boost with anti spell gone for good. Summon Limit gone for good. Yes, Baron and Savage is gone, but we could just FTK their ass all day, anyways. And Kieran's going to be huge. All we need now is Electro my back. Guys, thank you for watching this video. If you guys got this far, smash the subscribe button, smash the follow button. There's going to be a lot more to come. And go follow my official Yu Gi Oh! social medias down below. We're going to be posting daily shorts on TikTok, Instagram. Uh, go check down below and Twitter. So check those three out. We're going to be posting daily shorts on there as well as the YouTube right now. So check all four out. Thank you guys for watching. Really appreciate you guys' support in the last little bit. There's going to be daily shows coming soon. Love you guys. See you next video.